two, and one. Hey, good evening, everybody. Welcome to the Design Review Board meeting of, boy, what day is it? August Monday, August 19th, 2024. My name is Erica Zikas and is the chair of the Amherst Design Review Board. I'm calling this meeting to order at 5.04 p.m. The meeting is being recorded and will be made available via the Town of Amherst YouTube channel. Minutes are being taken. Pursuant to Chapter 20 of the Acts of 2021 and extended again by Chapter 2 of the Acts of 2023, this meeting will be conducted via remote means. Members of the public who wish to access the meeting may do so via Zoom or by telephone. No in-person attendance of members of the public will be permitted, but every effort will be made to ensure that the public can adequately access the proceedings in real time via technological means. A hyperlink to the hearing will be posted on the town's online calendar. Board members, I'll take roll call. When I call your name, please unmute yourself, answer the affirmative. Uh, Karen Winter. Here. Pat Auth. Present. Karen Blum. Present. Lindsay Schnarr, not present tonight, and Erica Zikas here. Board members, if technical issues arise, we may need to pause temporarily to fix the problem and then continue the meeting. If the discussion needs to pause, it will be noted in the minutes. Please use the raise hand function to ask a question or make a comment. I'll see your request and call on you to speak. The general public comment item is reserved for public comment items regarding items that are not on tonight's agenda. Please be aware. The board will not respond to comments during general public comment period. Public comment could also be heard at other times during the meeting when determined appropriate. Please indicate that you wish to make a comment by clicking the raise hand button when public comment is solicited. If you've joined the Zoom meeting using a telephone, please indicate that you wish to make a comment by pressing star nine on your phone. When called on, please identify yourself by stating your full name and address and put yourself back into mute when finished speaking. Residents can express their views for up to three minutes or at the discretion of the chair. If a speaker does not comply with these guidelines or exceeds their allotted time, their participation will be discontinued from the meeting. Tonight's agenda includes the following. We'll have general public comment period. There are no applications tonight, so we're going to uh, approve the meeting minutes from June and July uh, and then move on to discussing the DRB guidelines, uh, updating the DRB guidelines. And that is it prior to adjournment. So we'll probably move very quickly this evening. Um, just into, are there any members of the public present tonight who would like to speak? We have zero attendees. It's just us, all right. <laughs> okay. So welcome everybody. Um, I was hoping that Chris Brestrup would be here so that we could all send her off with our good wishes as she sails into the... Took a vacation day today. Yeah. <laughs> Leaving <laughs> us early. Um, Chris is retiring, so that's a, a big a big loss, but just want to, um, on the record, that she's been um, an incredible support asset guide for the DRB um, and that we appreciate her very, very much. Um, meeting minutes. Does everybody have a chance to review them? Mm -hmm. Yes. 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 Pat and Karen, no. Um, all right. Should I pull them up? Yeah, I would, Karen, Karen, I wonder if you, um, uh, let's see, Ju Monday, June 17th, uh, you were here for that one. So that would be important. We, we didn't approve that one at our last meeting, if you all recall, because we didn't have enough voters present at that meeting. Okay, hold on. I'll pull them up. Thanks. Mm -hmm. And then the, the June meeting minutes are pretty concise. The, the July meeting minutes are longer. Yeah. Very much so. Yes. More conversation. Okay, June. 
FY 2024. That's where they are. Okay. Sorry, friends, one second. Here we go. And let me share my screen. Okay. Can everyone see that? Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So we had Gabe's Underground and we had the Restless Books. Um, I think we started with a little bit of Kendrick Park that was also continued. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We discussed the color and approved the color for the Lou in beige. Took a voice vote and everyone voted and approved. Let's see, there's an update on the Jones Library, which we've since talked about. And then we moved on to Gabe's Underground. I remember we, there was some discussion about how legible the sign was. Yeah, the black and the blue and the white. Mm -hmm. And so where did we land on that? Basically to simplify the arrow, give attention to the height of the corner sign, um, just making sure it's visually aligned with the height of the adjacent awning and framework sign, and then simplifying the readability of caves to allow it to be more readable. Um, slim down the blue, increase the spacing between the letters and give more black background. And that was approved with the uh, recommendations. And then we did restless books. And I think everyone was pretty pleased with this proposal. Um, mm -hmm. And so, you know, just trying to make it even more wonderful, I think was the general consensus. And then integrating the three components um, with a menu of options to consider, bring the R logo to the door, consider integrating the red in the 69 or the gold um, from the independent publisher or the established date. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, that was approved. And we approved the minutes from June 17th. Okay. All right. Anybody see any need for edits? No. No. <clears throat> OK. So this is ah, loading on the June 17th yeah. meeting. So then uh, could somebody make a motion to approve the minutes of June 17th, 2024? I would I just say. Oh, sorry. Um, this looks like, what did I write here? Meeting minutes, motion to approve the minutes. I think the state would be incorrect. Oh, good. That would be the I... only thing. So I would need to amend this. Mm -hmm. It would but be other than a... something. Looks right. Like... So I, I move to approve the minutes of June 17th, I 2024. Said. As amended. As amended. Thank you. I second it. Thank you, Karen. All in favor, please say aye. 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 That's unanimous. All right. Okay. Thank you. Uh, July 22. Should I pull that one up or do we want to push that one? Um, let's it's see. So cool. We had uh, Karen, Pat, and I were present and we are all present here and we have a light agenda. So I think that we should review it. And um, I guess we'll do it as, as we go. Uh, we don't need to make amendments to public comments, which you recorded pretty faithfully, Jacinta. So we're really okay. looking for our own, like I don't wanna amend anybody else's words. So. Sure. I generally just so that um, everyone knows, I usually just copy and paste the transcript, the Zoom transcript, um, so that I'm not changing anything anyone else is saying either. I might clean it up a bit grammatically, but that's about it. Yeah. Um, 
Okay. So these are the minutes from- so unless, unless you see anything that looks really out of place in a public comment, I would suggest that we just kind of skim through those. Look for your own, your own words being shared back to you and that they are captured. <laughs> There's one, Feingold Alexander. Um, Where do we see it? Uh, let's see, second paragraph up from the bottom. I just, the, the architecture, just the firm's name, Feingold, is spelled incorrectly. Okay, let's go to, well, let me do it, yes. How does, how do they spell it? I think it's just a one word. One word? Word. There you go. Oh, well, this will be helpful. We can edit it as we go. Okay. Um, all right, so we have our public hearing on the library. This is all of the applicants presentation. And then the board comes in here with their questions. Let me know when you'd like me to move to the next page. Those those who were not present, do you want us to comment on anything or just move through the minutes? Um, a comment on the substance of the minutes, Karen? Yeah. That's welcome. Okay. So we have some questions about the lighting um, and the types of lights that are going to be used. Some question about the ADA feature. Mm -hmm. And then um, a reminder to hold on questions if they're not related to lighting. Um, let's see. Um. Talk about stormwater and the subsurface storage. Rain Garden is here. All right. On Small this page, button. right about the middle where it says Chair Zikas asked, um, I think four should be from. Okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm. That's my only change on this page. Talking about the shingles. Okay. Um, let's see. A first bullet point on this one, Jacinta. I'd like the word sleeve changed to slate. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And then uh, first, second sub bullet, Mr. Shao gave the following response. Um, I, I don't understand what the first sentence was trying to say, but asphalt shingles are not real shingles feels like an odd sentence. Um, <laughs> That's what was taken from the transcript. I could take it out. <laughs> are, are not real slate shingles? I don't know. I'm not sure. Um, uh, can we just take, take it out? De delete that sentence and be, uh, Delete all the way to. It's a budget uh, issue. Yeah, yeah. Um, just start with asphalt here. Asphalt can also be. I think predicated is used in a strange way here as well, but you could just uh, yeah. Okay. Sorry. Second. Like 
Thank you. Mm -hmm. So it doesn't look as artificial you want. Yeah. Enough. Anything else? I didn't have his any name is spelled incorrectly. H S. Nope, it's not I A O. Okay. Keep going. Yeah. Now we get into um, a couple paragraphs, a few paragraphs of um, public, public comment. comment. Yeah. Lots of public comment. Okay. And then the discussion, I think, is important to talk about. Do you think the... you could strike the, um, the chair comment there that first major um, bullet point thought we might start with good so I, it was just okay. reflecting on what I thought we the process we might have used but we didn't okay so I can take that out okay, okay. Um, the, the comment on, um, that the asphalt versus shingles should have been factored, well, that it should have been factored into the initial, where hmm. is that? I'm a little confused. So sure. Karen, can you direct us to page number? It's, it's here. Seven, okay. And Karen, I think it's one of your comments and. I'm a little confused. So they factored the synthesized uh, synthetic sy shingles into the original proposal, or they they didn't. And have they factored the asphalt into the new proposal? The in the in the most recent package, the asphalt is an alternate. So they priced the the base package is synthetic slate mm -hmm. and they're providing an alternate of asphalt which is less expensive by 225,000 mm -hmm. mm -hmm. um, according to their initial estimates um and i don't believe i don't know if he'll i can't remember if ms greenbaum was commenting on retaining the original slate as an option so when we're saying shingles here um let's see if we can find it yeah i think sometimes it's a problem to use the transcript and just type it out because um verbally it's it's sometimes incoherent and it's maybe better to summarize the thought mm. like that is, is a case in point. It's kind of hard for me to remember exactly what we said there, but I'm sure the gist of it is that we didn't like the replacement of the asphalt um, shingles, that that was important for us. And the other thing was that we wondered about if we were going to make it more sustainable whether replacing the windows was not an important part of uh, making it energy. Yeah, and that, that's a little farther down in the minutes. Right, yeah. and I, I read that and I, I agree with all that. The, the idea of shingles, asphalt shingles, I gather they're just dealing with immediate costs. They're not thinking about what the cost would be long-term to have asphalt shingles that would need to be replaced within a shorter period. Mm -hmm. That's right. They were making all sorts of attempts at making the initial cost of the project come down. How would you like me to amend this bullet point? 
Um, maybe Shh. just to say that uh, we uh, that that we disapprove of the asphalt shingles because it is such an important part of the historical look of the building. Mm -hmm. I do believe that summary comes later on in okay, the. Well, then maybe we can just eliminate all this. I don't know. Okay. It's maybe not necessary to have that all in. Okay. Yeah, I'm sorry, I should have studied this. It's okay, we're doing it now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, everybody has different meeting minute styles. Yeah. If you would prefer that I condense things, I'm happy to do that. I just never know how much people want um, captured mm -hmm. from a meeting. So, yeah. I'll be honest, I'm accustomed to uh less of the play-by-play -play and more of the summary but i think in this okay. particular case um having the discussion on the record is not a bad thing okay um people care a lot about the library so i wouldn't ask you to to reframe it at this point but maybe going forward we could take the kind of the higher <laughs> the higher level stuff Happy to do that. <laughs> like that. If that makes your life easier, it doesn't yeah. matter. It's yes, less it of a thing for you, right? Yes. Um, yeah, some boards like, you know, a lot, and some people are more, mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, so that's helpful. Thank you. I thought the point about, um, God, I can't remember the. <laughs> what would be found in the the paint of the windows. I'm sorry, word retrieval. The lead paint. Thank you. Yeah. That's it. Um, I thought that was a good point. That can get very expensive. Mm -hmm. That's, I think, further, further down, or did I pass it? I think it is further down. I see it right in the middle of the page. Yeah, now. it's right here. Okay, so we talked about the windows and then we went on to landscape. And then last call for any additional remarks. And one more person come through and talk about the roof. Um, and then a vote on their recommendations. And just Cynthia, here at the bottom of page 10, would you just um, end the sentence at the word yes? Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, and that's it. I'm going to stop sharing. Thank you. So if there aren't any other uh, changes to this uh, minutes, then we could, I could ask for a motion to approve the minutes of Monday, July 22, 2024. I make a motion to approve the minutes of July 22. 2024. Thank you, Pat. I second. second. Thank you. All right. All in favor, please say aye. 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 That's everyone. Thank you. Okay. That <laughs> is almost as long as the meeting itself. Um, <laughs> kidding. Okay. That was an important meeting. And um, I thought that we, we heard a lot of comment and um, the historic commission is taking this up on Thursday. Is that mm -hmm. right? Yes. Correct. Yes. Yeah. And Pat, when it comes to the historic commission, you'll be talking about the interior as well. Uh, exterior and interior. Yeah. Both. Yeah. yeah. And I'm, we're anticipating a long meeting. 
Yeah, I'm going to try to tune in. Thank you for doing that. All right. Um, so then moving on to the uh, DRB guidelines, um, it was suggested some time ago by Lindsay Schnarr, who's um, not with us this evening, but um, that we take a look at the DRB guidelines because whenever we do have a substantial project come forward, um, I've been using them to guide our conversation uh, about say whole building projects, right? And you've had that experience doing it with a couple of projects now. Um, and I find myself routinely apologizing for their redundancy or their um, vagueness in some cases. And then on the other hand, there are places where their open-endedness is an asset, right? We can interpret it how we want to. And as people who care about the design of our town, that can be really helpful. Um, so I think here the suggestion is not that we rewrite a form-based code um, or become exceptionally prescriptive about the look of downtown, but might reshape uh, the design review standards to be a little less redundant. Um, and so there are these uh, nine points that I hope everybody has had the opportunity to review. Oh, um, we have an older one. Let's see, I'll do a quick share. So here's the original DRB standards the nine points. And then uh, some time ago, um, when Rob Wachilla was in Jacinta's role, um, he made a proposal to kind of reorganize and take it out of kind of paragraph format and more into uh, outline bullets. And then we had one very brief conversation and he came back to us with a third round that we've never discussed. And I um, so I don't, this is in many ways a, a new, the, the board, the DRB itself has a new composition. Um, Karen Blum, you're new and haven't discussed this at all. Uh, nobody has discussed this third position. So I think that it might make some sense to come back to stage one mm -hmm. and just open the floor about your feelings and observations about the DRB guidelines as they are. Um, and we could take some notes um, and see, you know, if there is a reorganization, a slimming down, if you will. So consultations or expansions, right? Like where we would want to include those. Right. Um, so the proposed one from April 29th, we're not discussing that. Well, we, I'm welcome. I'm, I'm happy to, um, I'm happy to, but I realize Karen, that you weren't part of this conversation. And frankly, we'd had a very brief conversation as a board. And then Rob came back to us with, with this. So this didn't ever really get a great deal of conversation, but if, if folks like this, we could start here. I'm fine with that. I just don't want to, I don't want to skip a significant portion of this dialogue um, by starting at a a slimmed down version, a home base that people aren't comfortable with. Okay. So, Erica, I haven't been part of this discussion either. Okay, um, and so um, is is the original more comprehensive, or is the is the April twenty ninth more slimmed down, what what are we looking at and for? Yeah, my, my assessment, Pat, it's a good question. My assessment is that neither is more comprehensive. The original is, is wordier um, mm -hmm. and has some redundancies. You'll see here, let's just compare height. The height of any proposed alteration should be compatible, whoops, come on, with the style and character of the building structure or site being altered and that of the surroundings. And then if we look at the 
The next one, Rob combines height and proportions. Similar language here, height and proportions of the structure or landscape alteration should be symmetrical to one another and consider the following. So then he kind of defines height of building structure, doors and windows, roofs and structure, and so on. And then he defines where we should look for proportions in the fenestration, in the signage. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I, it's, he's pulling from different places and then reorganizing it here. I actually think that this is somewhat confusing. <laughs> So we could scrap this and go back to the beginning, or if we could start here, please let me know. I just want to make sure that everybody feels like they... Can, can you do that again? Can we have number one again, both both of them? Sure. I'll be with you. I think this second is kind of confusing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, right. So Rob combined height and proportions one and two. Um, and so the proportions and relationships of height to width between doors, windows, doors, signs, and other architectural elements should be compatible with da 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 that of the surroundings. And then here, and here he says symmetrical to one another, which is yeah right. So I think um, compatible would be the word there. Probably yeah. he was yeah. reflecting back to the beginning, but. Um, here where um, under proportions, it says, you know, between doors, windows, signs, and other architectural elements, here he bullets them out, fenestration, mm -hmm. windows and doors, signs, and then roof and roof structure. So height and proportion are combined into one, and then he bullets it out instead of lists it as a paragraph. So essentially it hasn't been changed. The 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 intent, the context hasn't been changed, just the format. Just the format. Yeah. One of the things that I've struggled with sometimes with the 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 original standards, and I think it reflects here as well, is that I find it hard to have a conversation about the proportions of the whole, say the building's massing, its overall size and height. And then also in the same breath to have a conversation about the proportions of the details, the doors and windows and signs. And I, what I would love to see is a DRB standard that kind of goes from the large scale to the small and asks us to look at scale and proportion um, but at those, uh, of those different and perhaps more deliberate uh, phases, is that a good word? No, scales of inquiry. So building height and building proportions makes sense to me. But in many ways, that's also the same as scale, right? <laughs> So question, should I come back? Should we begin here or are you comfortable beginning here? I think I think you should begin with the original. I think, and if I remember, Rob, this was sort of just really a first attempt. It was. They thought that it was adequate. I think it needs a lot of work still. Yeah. And this first part is too word, a little maybe wordy, maybe can be simplified, but it seems clearer in a way. Mm -hmm. All right, I'm trying to get it so that we get the bulk of the text on the page. Perhaps we could begin with the things that uh, are troublesome to us all. Uh, could we point out where we have, where we find it to be redundant when we're having conversations? Or um, 
could we point out things that we feel are missing from this document? This is a hard thing. I mean, this this takes a lot of work and thinking, probably with both of them next to each other. Um, it's just very hard to do this way. I don't disagree. It, we yeah, could have... it... Go ahead, Pat. I'm sorry, Erica. I, I'm tending to agree with Karen because um, I, I haven't been part of this discussion. Um, and I would like to take have a printed copy of both to take a look at which seems to offer the best the best choice or or maybe even yet a third um, version. Um, but it's it's hard to um, without comparing them. I think it's something that maybe we if we postponed discussion on this, any we each got a copy of both versions that we could review it and give thought to it before we have a full discussion. Mm -hmm. um, fair. I feel like we've been kicking this can down the road yeah. a lot I, I of think times. Be, I think it would be helpful to go through the first uh, copy, not the revised one at this point, so that we really look at it and see what is it that's bothering us here that needs to be changed. Yeah. It, in one way, it's also just the way it's it's printed out and, and put all together. Even if you had, how could we have less words with each one and still have it clear and maybe spaces between them so we really look at, do we need all those points, those nine points? I think we probably do. Um, yeah, I want to propose that we... Oh, oh. don't need, we can step away from the April proposal and just kind of come back to the the original design review board standards and start afresh. New eyes. I agree. New brains. Um, I do agree that having uh, this would be something that'd be really great to do with a whiteboard and right meeting in person, but we don't meet in person. We could create a subcommittee. Well, actually, that's a good question. I had asked, I asked Chris um, some time ago whether our board can have a subcommittee, um, and I don't think I got a response to that. She might have. I'm not sure. Um, but assuming that like other boards, we would be able to have a subcommittee, we could have a subcommittee and meet over coffee and actually redline it and make a proposal to the rest of the group. I'm open to that. We'd have to do a little exploring to see within that, if that's within our rights, but if that's interesting to people that we certainly could. Um, and I did ask at the last meeting whether we could all take the time to do this review on our own between meetings. And I gather that that's, we're not ready for this conversation tonight. So it's, I don't wanna force it down anybody's throat, but we have been pushing this off quite a bit. If we all printed this out and each sort of worked on it, how, for example, if I just look at this, I just think you could, you could use these nine points, you could keep most of it, but, just uh, make the wording of it much more concise. Not, it doesn't have to be this beautiful sentence. It could, you know, if we all took this and tried to rework it and then made suggestions next time. I mean, I'm sure that's exactly what you wanted us to do, but I guess we didn't do it. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> it seems that, um, you know, there's content, there's, organization and then there's presentation agreed and um perhaps one thing to think about too is presentation because a paragraph can be um one can miss things in a paragraph some of the the key elements to think about it can also be a little foreboding you know it's 
that you have to read through it, um, is there an easier way to present the material? Yeah, and Rob was clearly suggesting that in his bullet format, I agree. Um, okay, what I think will be kind of equally challenging the next time we meet is if we come with four different redlined documents. Um, so I'm trying to figure out a way for us to be somewhat uh, methodical in our approach. It's a bit early to talk about formatting. I think I'd like us to focus on content. Um, and I think that identifying, if you read through and you think about um, maybe using a pick your own home, for example, as a as a case study, right? And, and look at your own home with these DRB guidelines or any building. Think about where it's confusing to you. What are the DRB guidelines saying when you look at this building? So we could look for in the content, where are things confusing? Where are there redundancies and where are there missing elements? That makes a lot of sense. So um, Jacinta, will you email each of us a copy of the two, two um, versions? Sure, I can do that. Thank you. So we're going to just this one, the nine pay or the 9.1 and then the one from April 29th. Yes. Okay. I can yeah. do that. And you can see here, you know, Rob got it down to six, just six by pages. combining architectural and site details is combined in the other one, but here, um, scale and then uh, height and proportions are combined. So there are a few things that are missing directional expression, for example, mm -hmm. landscape. So you want to make sure okay. that we capture it all. And of course, this list of nine things sits within a document that is called the DRB guidelines, which you all have access to. And in, there are even some illustrated examples of some of these things. So you could look to that for the, uh, the original intent behind um, any of these. Okay. So I'll email both after the meeting. All right. um, so that everyone can print them out and work on it. Okay. Thank you, Jacinta. Mm -hmm. Is there anybody who would be interested in uh, participating in a subcommittee of guideline review? If we are approved to do such a thing? How many would be in the subcommittee? Not more than three. Okay. I mean, getting together in person in a cafe with the things that we've worked on ourselves is would would be so such an improvement. We would make so much more headway. It's just that I'm already in a subcommittee like that on housing for the planning board. So I hate to be in a new, but it, I I could I, I'm kind of itching to to get together with somebody and say, hey, let's write yeah. this. Yeah. Okay. I'm just feeling it out. After our, after our next meeting, we'll see what we all come back with. And uh... I wonder, would it help at all if we uh, came up with our own, everybody came up with their own version and emailed that to you ahead of the meeting? I mean, I know it sounds like homework and teacher, but this might be really helpful because um, then there would be one person that could look at our our four or five um, sort of takes on this and and summarize them, and then we would have mm -hmm. or to head. I I'm certainly willing to spend time, but I'm I'm really got a full calendar so trying to re 
connect with people around this might be difficult, but I'm certainly willing to spend time when I have it. I'm I my immediate reaction is I I really would prefer to have the the points separate. That combining them doesn't make for clarity, mm-hmm. in my in my opinion. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right. So, so the email night- them please to Jacinta, not to me, and then she can consolidate them. And um, I can, I'm happy to do, I'm happy to look at them and do some summarizing. I just don't want to be in a position of like having a meeting outside of the meeting without right. um, okay. get anybody in trouble. So let's, uh, we'll kind of communicate through um, Jacinta as individuals sure. um, so that we're not in violation of open meeting law. And then we will... Uh, I'm happy to take a look and try to find commonalities uh, amongst us and then maybe make a consolidated document that can be shared on the screen. Sounds good. When is our next meeting? Um, Let's see. We are the third Wednesday. So not including September 2nd, we would be the 23rd or the 16th, depending on what you want to do. Technically it would be the 16th, third Monday. I won't be here the 16th. I'll be in Iceland. Nice. So September 23rd. Does that work for everyone? Mm Mm-hmm. I could do the 23rd. Okay. So then I would ask that we have your comments. By the 16th. Yeah, I was definitely, I was going to give them a couple more days, but by the 16th sounds fantastic. Um, by the 16th. Well, because I have to, I'm, I'm guessing I will be the, the set of eyes that is going to look over everything and, and no, compare. No, I'm happy to do that. I'm happy oh, okay. To do that. Okay. Right, so then, do you want to move the date up? No. Okay. <laughs> I'm teaching three classes. I'm happy to have more time. Okay. Um, so responses due on the sixteenth. By the sixteenth. That sounds square with everyone. And then I'll forward them to you, um, Chair's Ecos. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Um, and just in terms of format for making comments, you could uh, write on a document and snap a photo and send it back. If your handwriting is legible, you could make uh, comments in line on a PDF document, whatever works for you, as long as it's legible to me, thank you, would be great. Okay, we have a plan. And I believe that that's the end of tonight's agenda. I don't have any updates, but I will check um, with Chris tomorrow when she gets back as to where things are with the the Dotson and Flinker study. Yeah, thanks. I would I I would think that people um, on this committee would have some interest in uh, what they're talking about, um, and I, I'm looking for a working group meeting. Public workshops are coming up on September 13th and 14th. And then tomorrow night, six to seven right. on Zoom, they would like to share their plan for meetings and the materials they intend to present. So I don't know if they're, if those public meetings are posted anywhere on the town's website, just since I imagine they are. But... They are, um, they would be under calendar. Let me see if mm-hmm. I can walk you through it one second. So today, so let me just share my screen in case. 
So for anyone who's ever interested, oops, um, this is our calendar. You'll be on the main web page. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, scroll down, view all events. And so we're looking for tomorrow. Let's see what's on for tomorrow. Public Art, Amherst School Committee, and the Conservation Commission. That's all I've got. This is where it would have been posted. Hmm. So okay. I'm not sure who's in charge of that. Interesting. Um, okay. But this is where you would have found it if it's, you know, a public meeting or anything like that. Yeah. And it's tomorrow. Erica, um, I, I got it. That tomorrow mm -hmm. was not a public meeting. It was just their presenting to the working group. The working group. Okay. Yeah. Okay. That's why we can't find yeah. it. But yeah. if anyone is ever looking for anything, that's how you, yeah. you go about doing it. Okay. And um, Downtown Design Standards Public Workshops on September 13 and 14. The workshops will include a walking tour and listening session on Friday afternoon and evening and interactive visioning exercises on Saturday morning. Okay, and that's in September. Wonderful. All right, a motion to adjourn then if everyone is ready. I make a motion to adjourn the meeting. Thank you. Second. Good. Good night, all. I'll see you with documents. Right. In the next. Thanks. Bye, right. everyone. Goodbye, Bye. everyone.